This program is intended for mature audiences. Parental discretion is advised. And just find this nigga and go kill him. Like, would you be ready for that? You would rather die over that shit? Like, damn. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. Like, I'm going to pop your eyes. I'm going to get you. Like, like, like on my mama's grave, I swear to God, I'm going to get you. It ain't the time right now, but I'm going to get you, my nigga. And when I get you, I swear to God, I'm going to do you dirty. I'm going to do you real dirty. He fucking with a Milwaukee nigga, thinking Milwaukee niggas just be like, what, you think we like cheese or something? What up? It's Bill Cabins. I'm bringing you on another video again. Yo, so we on part two. Um, if y'all watched my last video, y'all already know what's going on. Let's get right into it. I, I want to, you make it feel like I don't pay my rent or like I don't have to pay my rent. So right now he's talking about his landlord um, wanted to have sex with him uh, instead of him paying his rent and all this BS. He crying over this. I'm a man that paid my rent and it been four years later. I'm not that type of dude what you think I am. I am really him. I'm him, but I'm my motherfucking dad, nigga. Stop telling yourself lies, man. I understand, Mike. I know. Look, you got to remember, like, don't let this YouTube stuff fool you, man. I was born and raised in Chicago, man. I know how it is. I know how it feels to grow up without a father, man. I know how it feels to grow up without a mother. But you still dealing with the trauma in your 30s. I dealt with this when I was 14, 15 years old. You need to get help. You need to go get therapy. You still trying to prove a point to your father. You in your 30s. Go and live your life. Go focus on your getting your daughter back. And, and focus on paying your child support. So you can actually go get a car. So you don't have liens against your name. Focus on that. You still trying to prove a point to your father. And you are alpha. I'm like my motherfucking dad. I don't care. That's why I be trying to tell my dad. He don't understand. I'm a motherfucking beast, nigga. You don't understand. I don't need nobody. I'm a hustler. And I tell my landlord that. I don't need a fuck you. I don't want to fuck you. I don't want that. I'm going to pay my rent like a man. I don't need that. You make me feel like I'm not paying my rent by hand on me. I got a daughter. I wanted my wife. I don't want that. <sighs> This is why I go through what I go through. You don't know how I feel being up late at night, two in the morning, hand licks, trying to make some money. You don't know about that shit. You don't know about it, and you don't gotta, you gotta do it. You behind people. You don't know about that shit. You don't know about that shit. Man, you brought most of this on yourself, man. When you gonna stop blaming your environment and you hitting licks, man? We not teenagers anymore. You in your 30s. I'm in my 30s, man. Learn to grow up. Worried about the wrong things in life. Worry about growing up. You don't have to hit licks. How about you go back to school? How about you go and get a job, get a career, make something out of yourself? Nobody's forcing you to stay in the hood. Nobody's forcing you to drink every day. Nobody's forcing you to do drugs every day. Nobody's forcing you to try to rob people every day. Does that make sense? You still got the, the mindset of a of an inner city Chicago kid that's 14, 15, thinking the, the gang is his only choice to make it in life. You can get out. You can get out the hood, man. I took the leap of faith and moved out the hood and moved to a whole state where I knew nobody. You think somebody gave a fuck about my feelings and what I had going on or my PTSD? Man, I suffered from PTSD. It took me a while. Once I moved out of Chicago, I wasn't even around. How should I explain this? I couldn't even go to sleep, my nigga. Because I was so used to hearing gunshots at night. I was so used to thinking somebody was going to run in my crib and try to off me. These, these is facts. I'm talking facts to y'all right now. So, you know, there's a reason why I'm able to make these videos and I get thousands of views and nobody's exposed me yet because they knew, know who I am. And that's facts. I've been through so much shit in my life. It'll make your head spin. And that's facts. There's so much I haven't said on this camera that I might not ever say. But the people that watch me know. 
I had a, I had a fucked up life when I was growing up. Fucked up. But I didn't sit down and bits about it and complain. I got off my ass and got my way to a check. And that's facts. Opened up my own business in my name, LLC. Started making thousands a month. My hard work. You get what I'm saying? My hard work. Had employees. Put all my friends on with jobs. Can you say the same? I'm not even supposed to be here right now. And this nigga got the nerve to put 100K on my head. I ain't never had no nigga put no 100K on my head. I ain't never had a problem with a nigga. And this the first nigga on the internet or off the internet I ever had a problem with. I don't even have to deal with this shit. But now he want to cry and be the victim. Make it make sense. <sighs> I be wanting to get out of Milwaukee, man. It's just, just, I'd rather be homeless to keep doing what I'm doing. I'd rather be homeless. Go, I'd rather lay low and dawn and nobody know. And if niggas know I'm out there, I'll whack them. <laughs> I'd rather die and dawn the other noise, man. They just don't know. It hurt me when you see my daughter and nobody called me. You didn't even think to call me or nobody. But staying on YouTube, making no money, makes sense, right? Does that make sense? You need to go get two or three jobs. You think hustling out your house is the way to go? You think making t-shirts is the, the, the genius new hood idea? That's how you're going to make it out the hood? Does that make sense? When I, was, when, I, when, I, when I moved out of Chicago, I said I was never looking back. Chicago held me back. Niggas in Chicago held me back. They didn't want to see me successful. So I had to move the fuck up out of there. That's what happened. I started making money. Niggas were so jealous. They wanted to kill me, nigga. And that's facts. So all this little rah-rah talk that you talking right now, nobody give a fuck about that shit. Get off your ass and get on your way to a check. That's what you need to do. That's what I did. All you do is play the victim and make so many fucking excuses. Make your head fucking spin. And then you want to get on YouTube and complain to your... Your, your subs don't give a fuck about you. They're not going to buy you a house. They're not going to help you get your daughter back. Only you can do that, my nigga. Make it make sense. And then you got the nerve to flex with some money on social media. Nobody give a fuck about that little money. I wipe my ass with that money on the floor, nigga. You think I make thousands from this YouTube channel? How the fuck you think I pay my bills, nigga? Make it make sense. So, actually do your research on Bill Cabins before you get on the internet threatening me, put a 100K bounty on my head. Acting like you fucking know. You don't know what the fuck I got going on, nigga. I had niggas DMing me, wanting your head. And that's facts. I told the asses to leave you alone. Let that nigga find himself. Don't, don't go hurting the nigga over me. I'm just a YouTuber. That's facts. I had niggas in my DMs saying, hey... So we handled this nigga. I said, no, leave him the fuck alone. So watch how you talk to niggas. You're really from Chicago, but you do a whole lot of talking. And this is the first time that I'm talking like this on YouTube. So watch who the fuck you threaten. Please do. Maybe you'll learn some sense this time. I've been texting my daughter trying to see what she want for her birthday. Nobody responded to me and nothing. I've been texting from random numbers. It's like she trying to ignore me and then you say you seeing her with a dude or whatever. It's like you didn't want to tell me she was with another nigga. Yeah, you text me. You should have called me or something. Why not call me? You see my daughter, bro. Why not call me? Like, you want to call Mike? Why she did? That's why I did she ask about me? She didn't even ask about me. Cause she knows she was wrong, bro. She knows she hot, and you can be thinking that bitch and shit. 
They don't know. They be these bitches, bro. These people. I ain't that bitch, bro. I ain't that bitch. That's why she paralyzed. That's why God don't play with people, bro. She used to leave me sitting there crying for days. Wishing my daughter. It was my daughter's birthday. First year. Second year. I said, you're going to wish that I, you're going to be mad that if I disappear. And that's when I moved to Memphis. So, so you're going to go from Milwaukee to Memphis. Make it make sense. Memphis even worse. You think you can go to Memphis talking how you talk right now? You won't make it 48 hours, my nigga. So I missed my daughter's birthday for two years. And you know what she do? She still make me miss her. I hate that bitch, bro. Imagine hating your baby mama, man. You picked her, right? Nobody told you to sleep with her. You thought you were so smart, right? You thought you picked the right one, right? <laughs> I'm just so tired, bro. I'm tired of Milwaukee. I'm tired of making t-shirts. I'm tired of robbing. I'm tired of everything. I'm tired of working. I'm tired of YouTube. I'm tired of everything. Yeah, I'm tired of you, nigga. Oh, kettle boy. It hurt, don't oh, it? It hurt. Boy. I know, I know. They don't understand my pain, bro. We don't need to understand your pain. Get off your ass and get on your way to a check. Nobody give a fuck about your feelings. You supposed to be a man, right? You threatening people on the internet, right? You putting a 100K bounty on people's head, right? You said you were going to beat my ass when you see me, right? You say you were going to come down to North Carolina. That's what you said, right? <laughs> right? They think this shit beats me. It's like I'm living in karma that I'm supposed to live in. No, you living in the karma you supposed to. Trust me. And people saying, oh, Bill Cabbage, why you... Nah, 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 nah. This man threatened my life. This man threatened my family. This man threatened... Me. Do y'all understand that? And I held my, my tongue long enough. But enough is enough. That's why I made the videos that I made. I want I wanted you truly exposed. Because if we were in Chicago and you were talking to to niggas like this, it it would have been a different story. And I promise you that. Don't let YouTube fool you, nigga. Don't let YouTube fool you. People think it's easy. People think because I got my house. Can you please go get a roll? The tissue off the back, man, bro. Imagine crying in front of another nigga. Imagine that. Nobody give a fuck about your tears. Think about, think about, look, <laughs> it's so crazy, man. Think about if I would have gave up on life because life was too hard. Oh, let me, life too hard. My baby mama won't let me see my daughter. Come on, man. Then go to court. Do what you need to do. I know it hurts. I know you picked the wrong female. I know you thought you were smart. I know you picked somebody that you thought you loved. I know how it feels. I know. But do you think going on the internet threatening people is the right way to take out your anger? You thought Bill Cabins was going to stop making his videos. You thought a year and a half ago that when I started my channel, you was just going to mob me out, right? That you was just going to stop my channel, right? That you was going to bully me into not making content. Like you could get under my skin. You can never get under my skin, nigga. The older I get, the less stuff affects me. So you you talking about my mother, you talking about my father, you talking about my girlfriend. You think that shit really bothered me? Unless you saying the shit to my face, that shit don't get under my skin at all. I promise you that. <laughs> I promise you. And then you call yourself talking to everybody I know around me. I be laughing at your dumb ass. 
You the one that needs help. You the one that the videos are affecting you. You think I give a fuck about what you say about me? You think the, the content that you making is bothering me, my nigga? <laughs> make it make sense. Build cabins, huh? Bullets and slashings and stabbings, huh?